condemn him for this, right? I want to give one example uh, of a man named Abu Afak who was more than 100 years old. Because if you want to talk about someone who's obviously not a threat, not a, a military threat to you, uh, it would be a guy who's over 100 years old. So, what do you think the penalty was for this man who's over 100 years old writing a poem, right? Keep in mind, he wrote a poem saying, you guys would have been better following someone else and following this guy who's just going to divide a wonderful group of people. What's, what's the penalty for this guy? Well, going to ignore him, right? Because he's over 100 course, years old. Well, and because Islam's a religion of peace and tolerance, Muhammad's going to just m gently correct him, right? Well, of course, because according to Muslims, what the Quran says, Muhammad is a mercy unto mankind. In fact, it says a mercy to all creatures, not just mankind. He's also a mercy to the jinn, right, which we call genies. So he's a mercy to mankind, genies. Obviously, the prophet of mercy, the prophet of mercy would overlook such, a, such an insult because, after all, he's over 100 years old, and it's just a poem. Now, what actually happened, Sam? He got murdered. Muhammad ordered his followers to murder this man. He, he was stabbed to death uh, for criticizing Muhammad.